Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie Mike here, and finally we can exploit some Halloween Ends news for views. I mean, talk about Halloween Ends. Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said, God damn. God damn you, fire. What I'm trying to say is that, honestly, it's actually exciting to have some, some Halloween ends news that's that's palpable to speak about, but it's also nice that we haven't had any. We're a channel that doesn't like the leaks and the spoilers and stuff like that. Keep the script safe. Keep that shit away from me, Jonathan, or I swear to God I'll go in your room and break every fucking Lego set you have. We're almost to the end of the shooting, and one of the biggest parts of this news story is that people be lying to y'all motherfuckers in them streets, all right? <laughs> they have not finished filming Halloween ends yet. Uh, I've seen that so, a couple times. I'm like, where is this coming from? Christopher Nelson posted a picture of these badass crew shirts on his Instagram and even said, hey, we're almost there. There's multiple people across the crew and people who post on Instagram who are like almost there. Uh, I think they have a few days left, but they're almost done. So they're not actually done filming, as you've heard probably from other places on the Internet where you can watch sex for free. Did you all know that? That's a thing you can do on the Internet. Porn is what they call it. You can actually watch people fucking on your computer. Have a great day. But on to Halloween Reddit, which is a fun place if you can make sure to navigate through the spoilers to, to have some good conversation about Halloween. You know, things like, hey, I actually like Rob Zombie's Halloween too because no one's ever had that conversation before. But no, there's actually some really fun stuff. Some good people in that motherfucker. And th speaking of this seems like a good Reddit person, Zand underscore Kilch, post, 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 post Malone! Okay, now if you look at this picture, don't mind this dude right here that's crossing the street. He's just going across the street to the Speedway to get a Slim Jim and a Slurpee or something. But like, you wanna look at the poster up there. The missing Megan Baxter. Last seen on October 30th, 2021. Now, you might go, oh fuck, what if that's just a real poster? But look at the number, it's a 555 number, so that means it's fake. Now, what's interesting is the date here, because the date missing is October 30th, 2021. Now, it's likely you gotta put together that this is someone that Michael has killed. This young woman, Megan Baxter, is someone that Michael Myers killed. Now, if you can assume that, which I think we can safely assume it, even though when you assume you make an ass out of you and me, you can assume that it's Michael Myers who has killed this woman. So knowing that, and knowing what we know about this movie, which that it takes place in current times, four years after the events of Halloween Kills, that this probably means that it maybe means that Michael has been killing in between Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, which is an interesting thing to think about. Will they show any of these kills? Will these just be random missing signs and we're assuming that it's Michael that's killed them? Uh, that is going to be something that's fascinating to find out. But an interesting thing about the name as well, Megan Baxter. It's not got anything to do with Ron Burgundy or Anchorman and the Batman Buddy Baxter. <laughs> Eagle-eyed fucking cherry user. Magical 18 said, didn't anyone point this out? Didn't see anyone point this out, but in 1978's Halloween, Annie says to Lori, ask Dick Baxter, he'd go out with you. And there you go. There's David Gordon Green and crew pulling out the treats from 78 and tying them into the treats from 2022, 2021 in this case. So that's, I mean, I'm sure maybe it means nothing. We know that we're going to go back and do something with the Mulaney's, the characters we saw in Kills. But, you know, maybe it's just an Easter egg. But yeah, they mentioned, they did mention that. They said, hey, ask this ba Dick Baxter, he'd go out with you when those bitches were being mean to Lori. Just because she doesn't like to go around flaunting her shit all around town like some kind of hoe doesn't mean that she's not cool. You fucking dick. Now, the person who posted this said that their dad is the one who took the picture. Thanks, dad. Uh, but <laughs> baseball stuff. But <laughs> liar, liar joke. If you've seen liar, liar. But uh, they said it's not a normal billboard. My dad said one sign was already removed, but didn't take a pic. It was a billboard for a lounge type club. And then obviously Halloween fans were like, dude, fucking Red Rabbit Lounge, dude. And he was like, yes, I think that was it. I talked to my sister. She can't remember. Uh, it but thinks it was 07's Rabbit in Red Lounge. It had a Playboy type bunny girl on it. She didn't snap a pic before it was scrubbed off the board. So they're doing multiple ones and taking pictures of it. So there's a, you know, that's that's a cool fucking idea. I like that idea right there. Little Easter egg. Maybe we're gonna see the Rabbit in Red Lounge. Who the hell knows? But interesting, fun little stuff coming from the internet, John. Now speaking of things not being true on the internet. All right, I have another piece of news for you there. But first off, that piece of gay porn going around the internet that people are saying is me 
is not me this time. But no, seriously. Uh, Ryan COVID, uh, Ryan COVID. <laughs> Ryan Turk posted this picture of the crew hanging out on his Instagram and Spidey Mutt 5 said, please keep the pandemic stuff to barely a mention uh, face. And Ryan Turk, producer of Halloween said, COVID having something to do with the plot is a very odd rumor. So there you have it. People took this, This I'll read to you the exact line that David Gordon Green said to uprocks.com when they interviewed him. And we said at the time on this channel that I, we thought that the, the whole politics, this is gonna be about COVID stuff was being taken way out of context. Here's the exact words that he said. Where we're leaving these characters on Halloween 2018, the world is a different place. So not only do they have their immediate world affected by that trauma, having time to process that trauma, trauma! Uh, and that specific and immediate traumatic event in the community of Haddonfield trauma, but they also had a worldwide pandemic and peculiar politics and another million things that turned their world upside down. He means probably between Halloween kills and Halloween ends. The world ravaged this community. Now, if you see what people are saying about this part of town that they're taking these pictures of on the Reddit boards, it seems to me like they're just trying to show in this town a kind of an economic effect, sort of a ghost town, which by the way, lends to it being very easy for Michael to kill the Megan Baxters of the world next to empty car washes and shit like that during this time and people go missing. But the town's just reeling from, you know, the pandemic, from the Michael Myers stuff. Basically all he's saying is, hey, this town has been hit in the face with a giant dick. I don't think that he was ever saying that we're going to talk, we're going to fucking cover COVID. All right. We're going to talk about fucking vaccines. We're going to talk about Russia. We're going to cover it all under the guise of that fucking mask. I don't think he was ever saying that. So, and Ryan uh, Turek proves it here. He says once again, that uh, the whole story, the whole, he says the COVID having something to do with the plot is a very odd rumor. So there you go. Relax your crack, sweetheart. It's going to be all right. Okay. On to just a little bit of happy news. I wanted to show you guys creepy duck art <laughs> has an amazing sexual prowess in the bedroom but more importantly is really good at fan posters check out this creepy duck arts new halloween ends fan poster holy shit that's sexy i mean in the morgue the whole idea and it says his time has come fuck that's nice looking man i'd like that to be the cover of the halloween nine if they ever did a follow-up to resurrection as well just change up the mask that's cool man yo Give this dude the fucking poster, man. Let him do the Halloween Ends poster! We'll be live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern to talk all the good Batman shit. We're going to rank every Batman, every Fox suit, every Batmobile, every Alfred, all that shit. And we're going to let you guys vote on it. So be there for that. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell and like the video and share the video. We are doing all the Halloween End stuff, all the Scream 6 stuff, all the movie shit that you give a fuck about. We're going to be here to talk about. Unless, unless... It's an Oscar nominated film. I don't know what any of those fucking things are. I mean, let's be honest. Who does? Who the fuck does? Stop lying, fucking Greg. I hear you, you piece of shit. You only watched them after they were nominated. Belfast, are you fucking kidding me? What's the plot about? What's the plot about? Name one actor. Go ahead, do it, do it. Fuck you, Greg. I don't know what just happened. I'm sure Belfast is a lovely movie and I'm sure that you all watched every Oscar movie and that they all deserve to be nominated. I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for taking your time and spending it with me today talking about this news. Really appreciate all you guys. You come around these parts again, all right? You're getting a nice fucking French kiss.